Hey everybody, welcome back to my videos. Uh, today we're going to talk about guild coins and how to get them. Uh, there are multiple ways on how to get guild coins. Um, first of all, uh, here is the guild shop and you can buy different items and shards with the guild coins. Now I will go back into that again. So first of all, the first thing about guild coins is um, there is guild battles here, which if you if you're strong, you have you have strong Digimon, and you do the guild battles, and you have a lot of wins. In the uh, next day, when you get the emails from here, you will get a huge amount of guild coins. So if I can just find one somewhere, and I will show you guys a so ranking of guild battles. Okay, so here I received this uh, last night. Um, 600 guild coins plus you know more uh, different items plus gold as well and also of course the bet as well but you, you get gold from the bets now that's just one of them the next one is a guild uh, instance now you get 300 there and extra rewards which is nothing no guild coins but I will show you now so the guild instance is this one here okay so it's a guild dungeon basically and all the guild can challenge this dungeon and uh, once you defeat the boss, he'll give you rewards. So you can claim these rewards, and when you defeat that boss, the next day you'll get the notification from the email from here, and you can claim your guild coins. Okay. Um, so let's just do this one first. The other easy way to get guild coins is um, through the guild donation. If you donate with diamonds or uh, King donation, which is the thing is 200 100 diamonds for 200 exp. So let's skip this. Okay, um, let's go back and I will show you guys. So the research institute here, and now here is you can donate um, either to Dragnemon, Chakmon Adventure, Rhythm Develop, or Guild Technology, or just the Guild level, and you can choose to donate with uh, gold or diamond. Now it's 30 diamonds, but you get 100 guild points. And there's another option if you're VIP 5, you can have a donation of uh, how much is it? I think it's 200 guild coins. So let's have a look. Let me open my other account. And I hope it doesn't ask me to sign in. No. Oh, wrong one. So here. Uh, I can't. Uh, okay, here we go. So here you can see that um, you get EXP 200 plus, plus 200 guild coins, but it'll cost you 200 diamonds. Now if you think about it, if you have loads of diamonds and you really want... Uh, what's going on with my screen? That's so weird. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so you have your king donation. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so you get 200 uh, guild points. Now, as I said earlier, if you think about this, if you have lots of diamonds and you can basically have five chances a day to donate so that'll mean that you get like 800 of um sorry uh, you get five chances to meet you get 1000 of uh, guild points a day plus this is just alone plus if you get 1000 from here and you can get like from the guild instance and then from the guild battles so you can if you do that you'll get like almost you'll get almost 2000 plus uh, guild uh, coins and then over here we have the uh, to draw the money let's go back to my other account so here and if I show you guys so drag him on here now if you get six agni in a row you will get 150 guild points so hopefully we're gonna get one and now okay so three agni you get 10 guild coins and if you get five agni it's uh, how much was it 60 guild coins oh my god it's not my lucky day Oh, at least one. Please give me one. <laughs> Free spin? Yeah, why not? So here, we got five Agnemon and you get 60 uh, guild coins, okay? Now let's try again, hopefully. Let's claim that. Oh my god. So Free spin once, twice. Jesus. Okay, so 4 Agnemon 25 guild coins, but definitely once you get um, 
six Agnimon in a row, you get 150 guild points, uh, Agnimon shard chest, and gold. Or let's claim these, which not connecting. And the next one, how you get guild coins? Uh, do you get to you, where is it? The pre oh no no not the praying fairy sorry, the praying fairy just for diamonds, gold, and uh, weapon souls. Right, let's go back. Uh, research Institute. So let me finish donating here. Now let's go here and I'm gonna donate. Let's go with gold bonus. The red envelope. Which, no, this this, should, this would be the diamond bonus. Now, so you can see I have 877 uh, guild coins. And if I do a gold donation, that will go up to 927. That will give me 50 gold coins. Uh, guild coins. Now, if I go 30 diamonds, that's going to give me 100 guild coins, which is going to be from 927, 1027. So let's do that, and there we have 1027. So I'm going to finish the rest with a uh, gold donation. Okay. Now, check my adventure here, it just gives you a gold and diamond, and um, uh, what's it called? Kumamon shards. Now I strongly recommend you guys actually do these guild battles if you actually, like, you know, you, it's available. And if I were you guys, I would actually go through the the formation of the Digimon. Because it's very important that um, you check it, otherwise you'll have like random Digimon in different sections. Or you have like weak ones with the strong ones. And then if you lose that round, then it's game over. So you actually you want to have like these strong Digimons, you know, here, and another backup one, and then it's qualifying round two, because oh, no battery. If you fail round one, then obviously it's just, that's it's over. And then you get a seven final. You have all your Digimon all over again. Okay, let's go back. Uh, now I'm going to go back to the guild shop and let's talk about that. Um, a lot of people go for buy these shards. I mean, these Gatamon shards, probably a uh, Seed Dramon shards, with <coughs> excuse me, with guild coins. And I've noticed a lot of people buy the um, attack spars, skill spars, and different, you know, all the different spars. And me personally, I kind of buy sulfide experience. Also, I do buy uh, Gatamon shards too, <laughs> of course. I kind of want Andrew Woman on here. So uh, if you guys leave a comment down below, what do you spend your guild coins on? Like shards, uh, spars, or you know, sulfites? Or do you spend them to buy gold <laughs> on these stuff? You know, you can buy these with the guild coins and uh, sell them for gold. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did it a few times. I actually spent like 1,000 gold, I think, on it. Uh, 1,000 guild coins, sorry. Oh my god, uh, I'll be right back guys. I forgot my uh, chicken in the oven. Oops. Phew, that's a close one. It's still okay. It's not burnt or anything. <laughs> Look at me. Alright, let's finish the ne next of these uh, one. If you have a strong Digimon team, or a strong guild, let's say, so you, you could this should do all of these within not all of these dungeons but you can unlock them more of the dungeon when it resets you can unlock a lot of them really fast and claim you like a lot of rewards in the same day but then as, as long as you get to higher rounds higher rounds um higher dungeons let's say it becomes more harder now i'm gonna skip this So we have your killed boss chest. I'm gonna open it afterwards because a lot of these, um, anything, every achieve, not achievement, but every uh, boxes or chest you get from guild, anything to do with guild, some of them contain uh, guild coins. And there is another way to get guild coins. Is uh, sometimes it's kind of there's events, and these events you really don't want to miss because like guild coins are the the only ones like not very easy to get. 
and the next one I highly recommend that you do this uh, guild um, speed up to level up your Digimon and also if you guys didn't know if you slide to the left okay you can unlock more all right just so he didn't know yeah and it just carries on but uh, it's basically you have to use diamonds to unlock them so uh, that's a little tip if you guys didn't know I'm gonna unlock one okay and now I'm gonna place another you can have another extra Digimon there so I'm gonna have which one let's go with rapid one go back and now I'm just going to open okay uh, white oh my god I missed two white halty oh yeah there's this is special ring time limit exchanger yeah um <laughs> just a heads up guys please don't be fooled by this obviously it says here you can trade this tank ring soul for 100 shard uh, this rings uh, power essence okay now if you exchange that you're gonna get 100 of this and you're gonna get one less ring soul okay or if you have one you're gonna get zero and you're gonna be left with 100 uh, rings power essence and that power essence basically you can spend like X more diamonds and you'll need 150 of these essence to get another ring you understand So let's say for example you have here Dark Lord's Ring Soul. So where's Dark Lord's Ring Soul? Here. So which can be used by Kilimon, Lobomon, Bearmon, Black Gatamon, okay? And if we go back here. Oh no 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 that one. Dark Lords. Ankilamon, Lobomon, Bearmon, Black Gatamon, okay? Um this is kind of like a uh, personally I would say it's kind of like more like a scam because uh, how should I explain it you're going to purchase you're going to trade your ring for hundreds of these right and oh obviously <coughs> oh wow excuse me sorry about that <laughs> and as I was saying this is like a scam because you're gonna trade this ring for hundreds of these essences and then you need 50 more essences to buy the ring again and then you have to spend more diamonds to buy it basically going to buy the same fucking ring as you just wasted so obviously I have two rings and when I click on this it says Dark Lord Rings Soul uh, uh, own zero so oh, actually Dark Lord Rings Soul So uh, it actually doesn't make sense to me. It's not even making sense now. The fuck. So wake the trial ring into Dark Lord ring. I wake the trial ring into Dark Lord ring, which is the same fucking descriptions. So in a way, this is like a scam. You, you don't really want to spend your diamonds. And you have to waste your rings on this. For you guys, I would rather just equip the rings as they are, because you can obviously, of course, you can like uh, double equip your uh, fate rings. Okay. Uh, if I show you one somewhere, where? Oh, for fuck's sake. So I'll show you over here. Okay. Now let's go over here. Yeah. So you can see I have here uh, two stars. Okay, on my uh, ring. So basically, you can, uh, if, as long as you have Awaken Alloy, you can double equip or triple equip, you know. So just keep that in mind. That's a little tip as well. Um, now let's go back into the, no, no, let's go back into the bag. And consumables, okay. So where are they? Oh. Where's the guild battle stuff that we just received? I know where. It's in my other account. Okay, so here we have the guild battle on the chest. Okay, now let's open them, and <laughs> and no diamonds, <laughs> no diamonds, um, no guild points. Come on, give us some guild points. Twenty gold, 
Scroll. Ah, killed past chest, okay. Yeah? Okay, that didn't work. Fame points, no, that's not what we want. Okay. It must be somewhere around here. I, I'm sure I've seen it before here. No, that's fame points. Well, this is uh, turned out to be an epic fail. But at least I get loads of these uh, rewards though. And this rewards only for like two days. It's like they bombard you they bombard you with the rewards in this game. But then again you need so many of these rewards to actually level up something. And then above that you need loads of gold, loads of diamonds, lo loads of fucking vitality. And then you have so many Digimon to choose from. And I just opened everything. Uh yeah. I'm thinking to test this out, but I really don't want to risk it because I have to trade in both of them to get 200 of these. Or you can spend more diamonds to get this crap. So, uh, if I'm mistaken, it with if I'm done, maybe I'm misunderstanding it with something, and uh, you know, you guys go ahead and you know what to do with it. Do it. I've I've seen one of my friends on the the other my other account. He uh, he traded the ring. <laughs> he traded the ring. He <laughs> he was he was so angry with it. I couldn't believe it. He started writing on the uh, on the chat. What the hell is this? We are transferring here guild ID. The fuck is going on? Oh my god. Game, fuck off and go play another game. Fucking shit. Okay, okay, can't stand that. Can't stand these players. Here, he gets the attention he wants. Anyway, yeah, my friend, like he was, um, he was asking for help on this uh, world chat, and when I saw it, when I saw it, I started laughing because he, uh, he, he, he traded in two of his rings, and he didn't, uh, he didn't get nothing back in return. But anyway, that's that's the lesson learned. Alright guys, uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll go. I'm gonna go and eat my chicken. I think it's ready now. Before it gets overcooked. Um, if you have any comments to say about this video, um, I'd like to hear them. I'll leave it. Oh, what's going on? Leave it down on the comments below. Um, also, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video a little bit. Apart from that, take care, everyone. Have a good night.